saw vice is out of the clamps. Now we gotta get them all shaped up. These have to be curved on both of the sides so that you can put the saw handle up close to get the teeth right near the handle. You will also have to take this and get this all beveled so that when you're doing your filing you don't hit your knuckles on it and tear them all up. You can use a coping saw to get the shape of the curb or you can use a bandsaw or whatever your preference is. I for one am going to be using the bandsaw just to make it quick and easy and then I'll use a hand plane to get the beveled edge all across the top. To make this really simple I'm going to be cutting out a template and I'm only going to be doing half of it and I can flip it around to the other half and get the exact same shape on all four pieces. To get the correct tip size for the curb, I'm going to simply take a handsaw that's kind of low on the amount of shaping I can do and I'm going to put it just on the other side of the line and mark how thick that end needs to be. So I'll have about a half inch or three quarters of an inch on this end and then curve it down into the actual holding part. Now I can take this one corner and put it up against that edge and just trace out on every single side. So I'll just flip it around on here, make sure that my top and bottom are lined up and this corner is lined up. gonna take a block plane and start shaping up this back portion right here until I get it even with the clamping area As you can see the saw vise is completed. I still need to attach a small block on the bottom and then attach everything together with a piece of leather but I wanted to get it in the vise or in the clamp area just to try it out. This was a really really easy project to do and now I can go ahead and get all my saws sharpened.